Star Wars is your favorite shirt with a stain on it called The Last Jedi. Hi guys, a few days ago I made a video about how Star Wars is possibly ruined or blemished and uh, <clears throat> then I got busy with one of the things that I do and uh, a bunch of news came out this week about Star Wars uh, via different uh, outlets including um, Bob Iger's autobiography. So. Um, I thought it would be interesting to go ahead and play the video not knowing the news that just came out this week and see how it applies. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video. Well, I did a Star Trek video not too long ago, so let's do a Star Wars video. You see, Star Trek, Star Wars, both two of my favorite franchises that have, in my opinion, been mishandled. And I've been doing a lot of thinking about it. I've watched a lot of videos by people who feel the same way I do and people who don't feel the same way I do. And a lot of it boils down to what is Star Wars. Ryan Johnson, the writer and director of The Last Jedi, says he's still trying to figure out what Star Wars is. Um, I guess that could vary from person to person. I. I think it, Star Wars is uh, has an epic feel to it. It's a a meta battle between good and evil, but it's also uh, has some missions to it that uh, individuals have to go on. They have a struggle. The struggle can't be too great, but it has to challenge them. <clears throat> um, of course. There's got to be the Jedi, the Sith, lightsabers, space battles. After the Holdo maneuver, though, how many how, how many space battles can there be? I guess they can come up with some sort of plot device where there is a device that dampens the space around a certain area where you can't go into hyperspace. That would that would be the answer to the Holdo maneuver. But anyway, uh, recently, uh, Ryan Johnson's, uh, he's, he's got a new movie out and he's, he's trying to get some attention. And of course, he's talked about Star Wars. He doesn't understand why people don't, still don't like The Last Jedi. But he, he said himself in a video uh, uh, a few years ago that he wants to make a movie that divides people, half like it, half hate it. I really don't understand the guy. Uh, I don't understand him. I don't understand how he made one movie that people know about called Looper. How he he got the once in a lifetime chance to make a Star Wars movie. I mean, how many people get to do that? You know, I mean, he didn't ruin Star Wars completely for me because I still love, you know, the original trilogy. I still uh, love the uh, prequels and Rogue One. But it's like I said, I mean, it's like your favorite shirt, your favorite concert shirt that you've had for 20 years, and somebody puts a stain on it. It's still the same shirt, it's just got a stain on it. I mean, it's just... It's kind of messed up. It's, it's it's ruined, not completely, but it's ruined a little bit. So the way I hear it, he his his new trilogy, which they, they still he's still making it supposedly. That he's going to um, not have Jedi or lightsabers, or he may have Force users, maybe, but. I guess that's one of my questions to you is what is Star Wars to you? I mean, if it doesn't have Force, the Force, the Jedi and the Sith, space battles, 
is it still Star Wars? I mean, The Last Jedi, if you took the Force and, the, and, and you know, Luke Skywalker out of it, it would have been a space movie. I mean, the same thing could be said about Star Trek Discovery. I mean, you take some names off of it and change some characters, it's just a space movie, and it would have been okay. But you've got a canon that you're supposed to operate from. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, the more I talk about him, the more he gets attention. So I really don't want, I'd, I'd rather him go do something else. The Last Jedi was a beautiful movie. It was a visually beautiful, but I mean, he can't get the credit for that. I mean, it's the special effects guys, the wardrobe, all that. He can't get credit for that. He wrote the story and he directed it, so I guess he gets some credit. But I'm not, I'm not interested in watching anything he ever makes. And I think Disney, Disney is waiting to see how Disney Plus does and Episode Nine, because they haven't come out and said he's fired, but there's indications that the guys that made. Game of Thrones, they're making their trilogy first, and are they going to have a second trilogy with Ryan Johnson? I, I, I think they're just waiting to see how things go. That's what I would do. What I would, what I would have done was got some uh, good uh, directors that have a resume, a good resume, at least Game of Thrones guys. They had a resume. <clears throat> I mean, Looper, it was okay. He had some plot holes in it. What movie doesn't? But, I mean, The Last Jedi's plot holes were gaping. So, I'm not going to get Disney Plus. <clears throat> uh, I myself are going to, I'm going to wait until Episode 9 and see how it does and see how The Mandalorian does. I mean, I love the Marvel movies, but I can't see getting Disney Plus as long as Ryan Johnson is employed by Disney. I just can't see it. Or, or they could still employ him, but have him do something else. Get him away from Star Wars. Get him away from it. And episode nine, I mean, they they should have had JJ do episode eight. You know, Colin Trevorrow, the guy that made the Jurassic World movies, he he walked or got fired or something, and I don't blame him. You know, you got to stand your ground with Mark Ham Hamill. You know, he he made some noise. He said, "This isn't how, how the character should be." Um. It's almost comical, isn't it? And it's sad, too. You know, I've said it before. They want people to get an emotional investment into something, and then they want to change it. I mean, you, you, you can't. I mean, it's, it's, it's a franchise with a canon. If you want to make something new and, or different, or your own slant, uh, don't make it Star Wars. Make it... A Star Wars story on Disney Plus or something like The Mandalorian. I got a feeling. I got a feeling The Mandalorian. I mean, it looks really good. John Favreau is a, a good director and an actor. I mean, he had a movie called Chef about a food truck. It was really good. He acted. And I think he directed that too. But I, as long as Ryan Johnson's in there, I just don't feel comfortable getting Disney Plus, and I'm not going to go see Episode Nine. The only way I'll go see episode 9 is if I watch what the critics say and they say it's good. The critics I trust. You can't trust a lot of these mainstream critics. I, I trust Jeremy Johns, um, Grace Randolph uh, on um, Beyond the Trailer, um, Angry Joe. I trust them pretty good. Um, and some other folks. Uh, that do other things except movie reviews. I trust them pretty good. Uh, 
I'll see what they say. Here's the here's the thing that happened to me with the Last Jedi. Uh, Force Awakens was okay. I loved Rogue One, so I said I'm not gonna. I don't want any spoilers about the Last Jedi because the trailers for the Last Jedi Jedi were really good. I really liked the the trailers. I was excited for Rogue One because I liked it so much. So I, I made the mistake of having a, a quarantine of the internet, watching reviews, listening to reviews about The Last Jedi, and I should have done that. Uh, I should have, uh, from now on, I will watch no spoiler reviews. Uh, because uh, they got me. Ryan Johnson got me uh, for a hundred bucks that day, and I, I will not let that happen again. From now on, it depends on the movie, but from now on, I won't watch, uh, just go into a movie without hearing a review, a, a non-spoiler review. I won't do it. Because uh, The Last Jedi was just so bad. And I was, you know, we were all looking forward to it, and it was just, it was so bad. So, I mean, these folks are still not getting the hint, I guess, you know. What they're doing with Star Trek, what they're doing with Star Wars, Hellboy. I'm hoping Ghostbusters 3, or whatever it is. I'm hoping Terminator Dark Fate is okay. I'm, I'm you know, I don't, my faith, my faith is not there anymore. I mean, James Cameron is producing Terminator 4, or Terminator Dark Fate. I guess it's Terminator 5 or 6, I don't know. But he, he's not directing it, just like Elite of Battle Angel. I mean, he needs to direct it. These folks won't listen. I mean, if you're not going to do it as best as you can with the right people, don't do it. Just wait a year or two until your schedules are right or something, until the conditions are right. Don't do it. Because you're, you want us to invest in something and then you want to do it half-assed. So tell me what you think. What do you think about the state of Star Wars? Are you getting Disney Plus? Tell me what what you're going to do about Episode 9 and Disney Plus. And may the Force be with you.